Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube. Here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. All right, so we're going to talk. I'm doing this video because right after this video, I am going for a run. <clears throat> now, I was doing my e course for you, Breakthrough Fear. I'm going to help you go through all the paces of identifying what's going on, what you can do to change it, and how you can actually completely switch your reality and live with fear, break through it, live with it like I do, recognize it when it shows up and not allow it to paralyze you. And then ask yourself, what part of that am I actually afraid of? What about that fear? What is it I'm really believing? And so we walk through all of these things. It's a pretty extensive course. It'd probably take you about well, some of you can go, would blow through it. I know I'd blow through it uh, in a few weeks, but it could be as long as an eight-week course because I really want you to take your time. I want to talk today. Right now, I'm going to go for a run. I just was working on the course, and I was doing my first soundtrack. I edited the whole thing, went and added pictures because I'm going to do a little, make a little movie out of it and lost half of the soundtrack. I have no clue why, but I have, I'm have. i getting ready to redo it. So that's another 20 minutes. So, you know, I'm gonna take a break and go for a run. And I'm talking to you before I go for a run because if I come back, I'm gonna be all sweaty like I used to be when I used to, you know, no makeup's down here. There's usually some black, you know, mascara here and nobody's here to tell me to get it off. Um, I want you to start uh, doing things that are um, pushing you. Why? Because you and I are the same energy and you affect me. I want you to start pushing your energy out. And I have to have a meditation where you actually push your energy out. And I want you to get... You are that anyways, but when you do it, you become very aware that you are that power of everything that surrounds you. While I was talking to you in the last video, a little bird flew into my screen and porch. How he got in, I don't know, but I was talking about the power I was very passionate about, and this thing shows up. There's signs all over the place. Stuff is happening. I went out and got the little birdie out safely. It was a little yellow chickadee, adorable little thing. Our, our universe is changing. You are contributing greatly, and I need you to step it up because we're all going up to the next frequencies and dimensions, and if you don't step it up, there's going to be some friction and some energy that's, you know, causing more havoc, and we're done with that. We've been going through a lot of that, right? Your computers are going down, phones are going down, you guys have ringing in the ears, physical things going on, and it's like, wait a minute, I thought we were going to higher dimensions. You are, so things are falling off right now where, you know, you have to get rid of it. you got to chop off the, you know, the anchors. Get the knife out and chop off that anchor and let it go. So there are some growing pains along with that. But if you don't change your energy, you're not going to shift into that. And a lot of you are like, oh, this is happening. I don't want it to happen. Yeah, let it happen. Let it happen. Go, okay, whatever. Computer's out. I got two other ones. You know, okay, another one's down. All right, I've got one left. You know, it's just whatever it is. So... Just work with it and know that you're shifting in something new. Maybe you're supposed to get rid of certain things. Maybe that job you lost is like, thank goodness, yay, now I can go do what I'm supposed to do. But what I'm asking for you today to do is to push yourself to do some things now. Um, I'm going to go for a run. I don't really want to go for a run, but I'm going to push myself to go for a run. Why? I need to continually push myself. I need to push out into that energy and connect to all that space. When you keep shifting your energy of, so I'm not feeling bad when I do it. It's like, I know it's something I'm doing for my good. I know I'm going to have to go out there. It's hot. I'm going to sweat. You know, I'm probably going to hit some hills. All right, I might have to walk a couple feet, you know, if, if it's 90 degree and I can't run the whole thing because I'm going to pass out, then I do. But I'm out there running. I want you to get out that door and start pushing yourself to do things that are going to make you uncomfortable but are for your good. What do you want to do that's going to push you? You can talk yourself off. Of, oh, it's 90 degrees. I shouldn't go. It's not healthy for me. Baloney. So then you walk. Walk, run, walk, run. 
drink a lot of water. I'm not you know, asking you to do anything stupid. So I want to ask you what you can do. Is there something else you can learn? Is there something you can do to contribute like to a charity? Donate your time. Maybe you meet the guy or girl of your dreams because you're you know, donating your time at the animal shelter. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm choking here. At the animal shelter. So what are you going to do to push yourself to be a little bit uncomfortable that's going to shift your energy to an expansive place? So you're going into expansion. So that's your universal message is expansion. And then you start to receive all kinds of stuff because it's like you're pushing yourself outside of that condensed uh, me and my world, right? So push yourself out. What can I do? What else can I do? What patterns can I change? Can I shut down the TV and go meet some friends and walk to the restaurant? You know, can I, you know, ask my friends to go for a long walk with me or a run or a bike? Or let's take our bikes and go to a park. Or let's walk, the, I used to walk the neighbor's dog. And they had a baby in other home. I miss my little puppy. There are so many things that you can do and other people are going to benefit. It's like, you're going to take my dog for a walk? Thank you. I mean, there's so much you can do that's so great for them, great for you. And you, you won't believe the wonderful feeling or relationships that happen from that. The more I give, the more I receive. It's like my neighbors come over and give me fruit and all kinds of gifts and all kinds of things. I'm getting stuff all the time. I, of course, am always giving. It feels really good to give and it feels great to receive. It's all good, 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 good. It feels wonderful. So go take dance lessons. Go take, you know, karate or whatever. Get in shape or, yeah, so you meet some really cool people and then you, you like go, okay, well, we all like to, you know, go to art museums. And so you have a new group that you start to go out with because you pushed yourself out there to meet new people, to be different, to find new interests, to learn something. Learn, 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 learn. More stuff, more stuff. You don't have to go back to school. There's plenty of stuff on the internet. You know I have my uh, internet training. Actually, I'll put it up here. I have free videos, internet training. This is, you know that's what I do for a living. I use the internet to create income and reach global audiences and I'm changing the world for the good. I benefit and I get to pay my bills. Why? Because I'm giving value and I'm helping other people change their lives. You can be rewarded for everything you do. It doesn't have to be about the money, but trust me, you will get rewarded in some way. Even if it's just feeling really great because you just did something awesome and you see that look on that person's face that you changed their life. You know, that's awesome stuff. What are you going to do to shift your energy? Are you, what are you going to do to push yourself outside of the comfort zone and get a little bit uncomfortable, maybe a little scary like I do? I, get, I go in the scary zone a lot. But I look at what I'm doing, I'm like, okay, it's not so scary. And then you say, what's the worst case scenario? I don't like the dance lessons, I quit. I go find something else. You might have to actually talk to somebody, right? Maybe I'm going to... Uh, you know, go to an event and maybe I'll be one of the speakers. Maybe I'll volunteer to speak at, a, at the book club. Or when you go, oh, I hate to speak to people. Get over it. Get your butt up and do it. And you're going to be received in such a positive way because everybody wants you to succeed. The world wants you to succeed. I know it doesn't seem like that. The people that don't, they're the ones in a bad place. Bless them. Bless them. When they see you succeed, they'll be encouraged. Then they'll go, you know, I really wanted to do that too. Was that difficult? Because, wow, I was amazed that you did that because I never expected you to do that. <laughs> and then you go, yeah, actually, it's, it's okay. I'll show you how. Please, will you go into the uncomfortable zone and push your energy out and start to push yourself to do some things that wow, can make you feel really good. Okay, today I'm going to not eat any junk. I won't have any... I have a friend that she drinks that sweet tea. Oh my God, you want to destroy your kidneys and liver? Sweet tea. And it's like, can you give up your sweet tea for a week? That's just for yourself and your family. You know? Just do some things that are really good for you. And others, of course, others. Push yourself to that beautiful, expansive space. 
You are whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. I didn't come up with that. That's from the master key system. Mine is blessings, light and love to you. Miracles every day. Namaste.